everybody welcome back to my channel once again it's Rog here and today I'm going to be going veggie I'm going to be cooking an asparagus quiche very tasty very healthy and yeah vegetarian obviously and please stay tuned and uh, watch this video firstly we're going to make the base we're going to make a short crust pastry we're going to do it the easy way some people might call me lazy and maybe some people are going to be right so anyway, in this food processor, I'm going to go with 225 grams of plain flour that I've got there, and also 100 grams of butter. You can also use margarine, and you can also use lard if you so wish. Now, I'm going to be using a very large pinch of salt that goes in there then put the lid on using this process I just say so much hard work to be honest and we're going to whiz this up now after a minute or so it's starting to look a bit like this a bit sort of uh, you know a bit crumbly if you like yeah that's looking good so now I'm going to add some cold water, icy cold water. Turn it on first so uh, I won't be talking. So I've used about four tablespoons full of icy cold water and when it starts to go into a ball like this then uh, you can consider that done. And it's time to move on to the next step, which is to roll it out and get it ready for the baking tin. So we're going to need a floured surface. And there it is. And of course our pastry. And that goes, and now we've got to roll this out. Until it's about 1.5 centimetres thick. Here I've got a loose one baking tray, as you see, that comes out there. I've squeezed this all over, well I've used butter actually, and uh, put a little bit of parchment paper in the bottom there. Now one thing that is quite important is that you tuck your pastry into all these little, what they call flutes, around the edge of your dish so that it takes up the shape. But where this looks all scruffy on the outside, just leave it. It's okay, it leaves places for nice little crunchy bits of pastry to be so yeah just leave that then we're going to prick the base over in a few places just to let the air out so it doesn't swell up and some baking beads these little ceramic beads they go in the bottom just hold it down then this can go into the oven, gas mark four, for about 15 or 20 minutes until it's sort of light and golden brown. Now as for the asparagus, we only need the tips, these end bits. Now, you all know how to do this. You pick the point where it's sort of its weakest point there, they just snap. So I'll carry on and do this. Right, that's that done. Now we need a clean bowl. Okay, and in that clean bowl, I'm going to crack six large eggs and lightly whisk these together. Then I can add 75 grams of ricotta cheese, and that goes. Seventy-five grams of a very strong cheddar cheese. Pop that in. About half a teaspoon of salt, and about a teaspoon of dried thyme. Give this a good mix together. Then I'm going to leave this to rest until our pastry base is ready. 
now we need to roughly chop these asparagus tips. Stir these into our egg mixture. There we are, that's good to go. Now look at that, that is so beautiful and creamy. That's just about ready for the quiche case now. So now we've got to really carefully remove our little baking balls here, our little ceramic balls, put them to one side, and gradually fill up our pastry case that we've got here. Then we're gonna pop this back into the oven, gas mark four still, for about 40 minutes, but we want this to end up really golden brown and lovely colour on the top. So here we are, 40 minutes later. Looking delicious, isn't it? What I've decided to do is just take off this little edge here so it won't stick in the container when I take it out. There we go. Get all those little bits out, scrape them out of the way, tidy up. Put it on a dish, easy edge, just gradually ease it all the way round and it'll gradually drop off. Just like that. There we go. Perfecti mungo. Pop that to one side and then we can put it onto a plate. Very carefully I might add. Discard your bit of uh, parchment paper that you've had underneath to stop it sticking. And there it is. That looks good. Tighten the cutter slice. How big a piece shall I have? That's what I wonder. Oh, a bit bigger, a bit bigger. Oh. Is that all I get? Anyway, time for my taste test. So there it is, guys, in all its glory. Look, lovely colours, healthy, crumbly pastry, beautiful. Now for a little taste test. Well, I shouldn't be surprised, but I am a little bit surprised. You can really taste that asparagus. It's so full of flavour and the thyme in there. It's a beautiful dish. Please try this one for yourself. You won't be disappointed. Uh, thank you for watching this latest video of mine. Don't forget, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. You'll see all the future videos and all them old ones from back there. And uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. See you all again next time. Bye for now.